Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and today we are back to reviewing some amazing wireless earbuds, and I've got some of the best on the market. So here we have the Sony MX4s, sorry, Sony MX5s as they come up, and now we have also the Technics AZ40M2s. Who comes up with these names, seriously? They are both, these are more of a premium set, but these are also marketed as some of the mid-range earbuds, true wireless with noise cancelling as well. So which one of these two should you consider? Let's get into it. Right, so to give it its full name, this is the WF-1000 series and this is the XM5. So this is the, the XM5 series that is the latest one from Sony to have come out. Uh, I managed to get hold of the XM4s and you'll see a card or a link to that review uh, below. They were impressive in terms of sound quality, but they had some fundamental flaws. So let me tell you about what those flaws were on these ones as well. Uh, and then I've also managed to get hold of a new brand, one that I haven't tested before, which is from Technics. Now I'm a huge fan of Technics way back when, when I used to DJ. Um, and these are obviously uh, made by Panasonic, uh, but these are their mid-range uh, true wireless earbuds, but actually they ended up coming out better than I expected to, which is why I've put them against each other. However, the pricing is different, so there is a bit of disparity, but in fairness to Technics, these are competitors. So what I want to do is go through the build quality. I'm going to then put them in my ear as I always do as I talk to you about it so you can see the profile and tell you what I think are the pros and cons of both of these and which one I reckon you should go for. So let's go ahead and pop in the XM5 into my left ear and we'll pop in the right ear of the Technics to my right ear. Now, first and foremost, you can see straight away uh, from head on what the profile looks like. I'm going to turn my head left and right and the noise cancelling even for the single ear will kick in. Actually, I can feel it really well on the Technics itself, so it does actually uh, feel pretty good. Now, just to go through uh, the boxes, so they both come in these pill-shaped boxes, although I have to say I definitely prefer the design of the Sony. Uh, definitely looks quite a lot more refined. Uh, they're using this very special sort of sandstone material that actually looks really, feels very nice in the hand, and it's a comfortable hold, uh, whereas the Technics is very much a much cheaper, flimsier um, box that it comes in, and you know, it's, it's nothing special in any way. Uh, but you know it does recharge them very effectively and it has a USB type C on the reverse. Whereas the Sony's also have, of course, a USB type C along with a reset button, but it also has wireless charging. The Technics do not, unfortunately, but the Sony's definitely have wireless charging, which is a massive bonus. As you all know, I always have my charging unit next to me at my desk. So it's super handy to be able to charge them up. Now, talking about the design, if we look at each of the units, we can see here that they are very nicely designed. I have to say Sony have refined and improved their design quality uh, from the MX4s and they are less bulky. One of the biggest issues I had with the MX4 was the size of it. Um, now, they've reduced the size of these in fairness, and I think they've improved the design, particularly with this gold accent there that looks really, really cool, which is a, 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 a microphone, but they still stick out the ears. And you can see very clearly when I pop them in. Now, because of my ear canals, I'm using quite large uh, rubber ends there, uh, and that blocks the canal. But in fairness to the Technics, these actually feel more comfortable to me. So these Technics sit inside my ear much more flush. And of course, I can feel them much less in terms of weight on from the, with compared to the Sony's. So in terms of comfort, I'm actually going to give it to the, to the Technics because they're lighter and they fit inside the ear canal and it feels like it's completely blocked it out. But the Sony's do sit quite snugly and I feel very secure in that I can walk and move my head around and they're definitely not going to fall out. So that's not an issue in any way. Now, where the disparity starts to come in between the Technics and the Sony's is going to be noise cancelling, which they both have, uh, and sound quality. 
So noise cancelling, first of all, you've got apps for both of these devices as well. So both come with their own specialized app, which allows you to adjust equalizers, uh, adjust the noise cancelling and turned on transparency mode. The transparency mode is about the same on both. I don't really like transparency mode because it does feel very synthetic in terms of what they're pushing through. Um, but the uh, noise cancelling functionality on both is good, but it's clearly way better on the MX-5. Again, not the best, I have to say. I was most impressed by the Samsung Galaxy Buds, but these have been pretty good. These are very close behind them um, in terms of noise cancelling. So as soon as you put them both in, it will activate noise cancelling, and there's that sudden reduction in sound all around, which is really, really nice. With the Technics, it's less aggressive, um, you can definitely sense it, but it's much less aggressive in terms of also cancelling sound. There's definitely a little bit more ambient sound when using the Technics themselves. Okay, I'm going to take them out of my ears now to carry on. So what I also felt in terms of sound quality was that they are definitely different, but they definitely have the same level of, for example, punchy bass. So Technics famed for their turnstiles or for the uh, spinning disc that I used to do back in the day with the uh, old vinyl. Uh, but now they are moving into the uh, headphone as well. And obviously they've been doing over the ear for a long time, but there are a few variations of earbuds. And these are the mid ranges, which are okay in terms of punch with a bit of bass, but where they fall well behind the Sony's is with the mids and the highs. So this will give you a lot more ambient sound. So the sound is just richer and fuller. And if you've ever used the headphones where you can pick up a sound as if it's coming from a distance, that's what these types of earphones do. When you've got ambient sound or when you're watching a video or audio where there's a sort of distinct sound elsewhere or is behind you or in front of you, these earphones deliver that kind of richness of sound that is really, really nice and surprising sometimes when you hear something and you're caught off guard because you've got the earphone on and it sounds like it's coming from elsewhere. These are very, very clever. They do have the uh, 360 dynamic reality audio, which is a separate app altogether. Uh, they also have the LDAC and they've got high res audio as well. So they are very, very, very good in terms of uh, what they offer you, but you are paying a premium for exactly that. So you're paying over 300 euros to get that. So you'd expect that. In the price bracket here of 130 euros, you're getting not quite the same. You do get the LDAC, which is very, very cool, but you don't get the Reality 360. Um, and the quality of sound is definitely going to be different, but the comfort is absolutely there. So in terms of value, you're much better off getting these for value for money because they're going to sit inside your ears uh, very, very nicely. So sound quality all around is obviously going to be better with the MX-5s, but you're definitely not going to miss out with the Technics, uh, the Technics M2s. But that moves me into the next purpose of using these, such as, for example, using them for uh, media viewing, which was very, very good, very low latency on both of them, actually very, very good. I um, had no problems watching any shows or documentaries or uh, anything with verbal or YouTube, for example, uh, no problem at all with either of those. And then the final thing that was very important was uh, phone calls. Now, both of these surprisingly were actually very, very clear. I had a couple of times when the uh, caller on the other side said they couldn't quite distinguish me from a noisy environment using the Sony's, which surprises me because again, that's a fundamental uh, factor with these earbuds is to block out ambient sound but they had no problem with these. Although there was also ambient sound, these were the same, if not slightly better at blocking out ambient sound than the Sony's. That's use case though. Sometimes that can vary massively. I, I, I was walking by a quite busy road and that can be very, very difficult for regular earbuds to manage or mitigate that noise. Wind is also challenging as well. But otherwise, if you're, a, if, if you're in a quiet, stable environment, the sound quality and the mic pickup whilst using these on a phone call, for example, or a video call, were very, very good. So you won't have a problem with either of these, surprisingly. So the mic pickup on both was perfectly adequate. So I would recommend them both. It does depend on your budget. Your sound quality is definitely going to be better with your Samsung, with your Sony, sorry, uh, because they are obviously their premium buds 
and they are getting better and better and pushing the 1000 series further and further. For me, it's just too uncomfortable in my ears. I can't get used to these enormous bulbs coming out of my ears, despite the quality of the sound. And when contrasted with something like the uh, Samsung Buds Pro, which were just tiny, sat inside my ears and delivered the same noise cancelling and delivered the same punch in sound and quality. So I think that the bar was set by Samsung and, Samsung and Sony are trying to catch up. So it's an interesting one, um, but I'm pleased I got to try them. They are very, very good in terms of sound. I really enjoyed listening to different types of music with these on, but the comfort level is still a huge problem for me because they are quite heavy. Um, and they do stick out my ears a lot. With the Technics, it's a case of slightly cheaper box, slightly less quality build, shall we say. Uh, but if that doesn't matter to you and you're looking for something reliable that has all day long battery, um, then uh, you're not, you're not going to do badly with the Technics whatsoever. Just to cover battery life as well, um, you can easily get five and a half hours out of the Technics and then you get another 12 hours inside the box and you get eight hours, they claim, um, of the earbuds, and then you get another 16 hours on top of that when put back into the case. Now, I've been using these on and off. I've charged each one of them once, and I've been using them almost every day, but not consistently, because again, I can't wear these for more than maybe an hour because it starts to become uncomfortable. I could wear these for more than an hour, but I haven't used them consistently in that time frame, but I've only charged each of them once. So you will not have a problem with battery life. They are very, very reliable. But it's the noise cancelling and sound quality that is probably the most uh, relevant. And obviously the Sony's win out on sound quality, but they're both very good with noise cancelling. So if you've got any questions, do put them in the comments. I know you guys are loving my uh, earbud videos as well. So please do share these widely. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comments. Make sure you sub makes a huge difference to my channel, which is growing. We've just cleared 500. Massive thank you for that. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.